This episode of Film Learning is brought to you by Wix, old guy. Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learning you some filmmaking and learning good. And you know guys, over the years I've been asked a plethora of questions, such as, hey, why did you go bald? Uh, why is there a mattress in the corner? What's that smell? Why is there a picture of Rob Schneider on your monitor? What are you doing in my backyard? And why are you wearing a mini captain's hat? Well, that's because sometimes I only feel like a little bit of a captain. Salute. And one of those questions that has popped up from time to time ever since we launched the filmlearner.com website is how did you build your website and who did you build it with? And that's a twofold question that I can answer with one word. Wix. Wix approached me about a year ago and said, how would you like to build a website using our service and then teach people how to build a website? So naturally I said, yes, and here we are today. So before we jump into the tutorial, let's naturally segue into a pre-recorded message. Chimpanzee right now segue. Let's face it guys, if you haven't heard of Wix, you've either never been on YouTube or you're living under a rock. Which I've gotta ask, why are you living under a rock? Isn't that dangerous? But I digress. For those rock dwellers amongst you, Wix is one of the easiest platforms to use for website creation with loads of templates to jumpstart your creativity and the ability to customize virtually everything. The only limit is that brain of yours and perhaps a living under a rock situation. So sign up for a free account, move out from under that rock and build a website. Man, I really got stuck on that living under a rock thing. You think this will do? Yeah, it's fine. Smooth transition, Grant. Now guys, I thought it'd be a cool idea if we just recreated the film learning website in the tutorial using a base template just like I did when I built the original website and going all the way through to its completion. It does mean there's quite a few steps, but it also means that you're gonna get a really in-depth tutorial. So, let's get to work. Okay guys, so here's our first step. We're at the Wix website homepage and all we need to do is click get started. So let's do that. From there, we're taken to the login page where you have the option to either sign up or sign in. And since I've already created a Wix account, I'm going to sign in. From there, we'll be greeted with the welcome screen. And since this is the first time we're creating a website, we simply have to click create your website to start the process. Once your website's published, this will convert to more of an admin page. So the first thing Wix asks us is what kind of website you'd like to make, as each of the templates are categorized into genres or professions. Now I'm pretty sure the film learning site was either photography or portfolio and CV, so let's just click one of those. This brings us to the template page. As you can see on the left, there are quite a few different template categories to choose from, including a video one right here. So gang, you can either look at these filtered or just hit all and go digging, or if you're feeling particularly creative, you can start from scratch with one of their blank templates. Now, I just remembered that the template was the uh, portfolio and CV. That's the one I was after. This one down here called small brand. Now gang, when you find one you like, you do have the option to either see it in action by hitting view or just start editing right away. Let's hit view. So as you can see, it's a pretty basic site, but this is pretty much the same kind of base layout as the film linen site we have now. So let's pull our collective finger out and hit edit. This is going to open up the Wix website editor and we can start to play. Now the first thing you'll be greeted with is a tutorial pop-up on getting started. I'd recommend you check this out as it does have some great info, but since I'm teaching you, let's go ahead and close that out for now. Now let's get started by replacing this video here with say the Filmland channel trailer. To do that, we click on it, head up and click change video. From there, we wanna replace the URL we have right here. Funnily enough, I have it here and a Wix ad started to play on our channel trailer when I opened it. A Wix ad in a video that is essentially an ad for Wix. My God. Yep, that's next level. So let's go ahead and copy the URL up here, head back to the editor and paste that in. Once we close that out, our video auto updates and look at me ma, I'm a web designer. Next step is adding a new background to the site, as this one is a tad plain. But first we need to add a white background layer behind our video to separate it from the background and make it pop out a little. So what we need to do is head over to the add menu right here, find box and drag and drop that into our page like so. Now we can see that it's slightly transparent and we want it completely solid. So let's hit change design, head up to customize design, fill in opacity and bump that up to 100%. Done. 
I'll then right click our box and from the menu I'll head to arrange and select sender back that way it'll appear underneath our video. From there it's just a matter of scaling it up to match the margins in this box, which is easy as these color and margin indicators help us snap these into place. Ok, let's add our background. If we hover over the outer part of the site, you'll see the change background button appear. So let's click that. You'll see we have a bunch of options including motion backgrounds as well as stills, but since I already have my own image, I'm going to click gallery image right here. From there it's simply a matter of me selecting the image I imported, or you can just import your own image by clicking this upload button right here, but since I've already imported it, I'm going to select that, hit change background and BAM! It's all done. Now I'd like to apply the same background image to all the pages, so I'm going to click this really obvious button right here. Then it's simply a matter of clicking the checkbox on any of the pages you wish to apply that image to. Done. Time to play with the navigation menu. For starters, I'm going to move it down to the bottom of the header frame like so. From there, I want to change that design to make it solid. So let's click the really obvious change design button and then we're going to head down to customize design. I'll select this second option right here to add a fill to our menu. I'm then going to change the color of said background to a dark grey. I'll then change the text to a white just for a bit of contrast between the two. From there, I'm going to customize their interactive behaviors. For example, when the mouse hovers over or clicks them. So I'm going to keep the click at white, that's fine, but I think I'll make the hover color a baby blue, because why not? Last thing on the menu is changing that font. Now guys, I'm going to speed this up because it took me a while to find the right one. Ah, there it is. I'll then adjust the font size a little as it's a bit big. Nice. Let's then close that out and our menu is done. Next, the header. I'm going to start by deleting that text box and the logo image here. Now I could just change the image here, but Wix will change out this image at the same scale and some cropping will occur, and I don't want that. It's simply easier just to delete it and start from scratch. So let's head over to the add menu once more and I'm going to import my banner from my image library like so. We can then drag it up and attach it to the header and click got it. We'll then scale it up and make sure it stays within the margins by using those snapping guides that I mentioned earlier. They'll change color to a purple when you're within the bounds of the margin boxes. Now I might thicken up my menu bar a tad. But as you can see, my banner image is actually cutting off the top of the menu. So once again, we'll click arrange on the image and select the image to go to the back. So our menu sits on top like a proud mama hen. Last thing I want to do here is change this copyright text down here to something a little more, well, not that. There we go. I might adjust my banner just a little bit more because I'm super anal. Done. Let's hit preview. Oh, speaking of anal, I just noticed the curved edge on the menu here, which I really don't like. So to fix that, let's head back to the editor, right click on our menu and click design. Customize design, head to border, and I'll just zero out that curved edge. Much better. Let's then adjust it to snap to the margins and check out a preview. Alrighty, our first page is done and that took no time at all. If we compare the two pages, you can see just how different they are and on top of that, how damn easy it was to achieve that result. So let's keep going and make the rest of the film learning website as best we can in the shortest amount of time. Let's head over to the site menu and click on manage pages. From there, I want to delete these two sub pages under collections as we don't need them. To do that, we click on this menu button on the side of the page and select delete, which we're prompted with a warning which we'll totally ignore. Ok, done. Hmm, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and delete that blog page as well. Done. Now I still need one more page to make up the site I'm designing, so rather than build that other page, I'm going to click the menu here and select duplicate and we'll just call this page merch. Let's then double click collections and change that to the show. And we'll change about to say downloads. Ok, let's go back and start with the show. Now the idea here is to have this stream the YouTube channel directly from the site. And at this moment you can see the page is full of text and pictures, and we don't want that so let's just go ahead and delete all that. And from there we'll head over to apps, and we'll search video. 
We'll then select Wix video and we'll hit the big old add to website button. Let's move that down like so. And from there, it's time to customize it. For starters, we'll go to manage videos and you can see on the bottom area, it says embed any video from YouTube, Vimeo and Facebook, which is handy. So let's add our channel URL right here. I'll just head up and copy it directly from YouTube like so, and let's paste it in here. All done. So let's hit next and follow it up with add feed. We'll close that out. And from there, we're gonna head to settings, head to channels, and from the menu, let's select our YouTube channel. There we go. It is now embedded in our website. Now I'm not digging the default look of this thing, so let's customize that. Firstly, we'll add a few more rows below the feature one by increasing this number to say three. Nice. And I don't like the banner just sitting there, so let's head to player and change that to feature video cover. And since our thumbnails already have titles, let's go ahead and remove the title as well as the channel name since I'm pretty sure it's film learning. Lastly, I wanna change that play button color to stand out a little bit more. Much better. If we check out a preview, we now have our YouTube channel embedded into our website. And if we compare the two sites, here's what the page looked like, and here's what it is now. Not bad for a few minutes work, right? So the next page is our merch page. Now the idea here is to link to my Teespring merch store, an external site, but make it seem like it's a normal fluid part of the site. So to do that, let's head to the pages menu, manage pages, let's go ahead and delete that merch page. Yeah, I didn't actually need it. From there, we'll head down and click add link. We'll make sure web address is selected here and we'll go to my merch store. We'll check out the merch store if you, well, let's just copy the URL and stop whoring. And we're gonna paste it here and hit done. And bam, all linked up. Let's rename our link merch, hit done. It adds itself to the site menu. And if we preview our site, oh, look at that. We hit merch and there's our external merch site all linked up to our menu and working great. Then while we're here, why not pick up a My God shirt, gang, designed by our very own Tyler Lampshire. Okie dokie, let's move on to the download section and we're on the home stretch, gang. Now, as you guys know, when you download a pack from our film learning site, you click on a thumbnail and the pop-up window comes up with the download link. So I'm gonna show you how to do that using Wix light boxes. Let's start by adding a light box. We'll head over to add, down to light boxes, and I'm just gonna go ahead and speed this up because it took me a while to find a light box I wanted. Well, there we go. I'm also gonna speed up me farting around with the design of this light box because we all know how to edit a text box and I'm not gonna go over that. Now that I'm done, let's finish this by clicking the download button and clicking the link button here. We'll change this to web address and I'm gonna paste a link to our Mediafire download pack, our pocket dimension one to be exact. Done. Let's now head back to our pages menu, hit pages, head to light boxes, and let's finish off our light box by renaming it Pocket Dimension. Okay, light box done. Now let's build it out to our download page. So the first thing I'll do is add an image of our Pocket Dimension thumbnail, like so. I'll then scale it down to a reasonable size and position it into place. Next, I wanna link it to the light box I created. To do that, we hit the link button and change it from web address to light box. And since we only have one light box, it's gonna link it by default to our pocket dimension light box. We can then click done. If we preview this, we click on the picture and our light box comes up. Nice. So my next step is to duplicate my image here and fill out the page just a little bit more, just for an example. So I'll right click and copy and paste. We can then use the snapping tools to easily align the picture to the middle of the page. Let's then copy and paste again and make a nice row of three. I'll then select the middle image and click change image. Let's then change it to a different thumbnail and then follow that up by changing the second one as well. Next, we need to make some more light boxes and we're gonna cheat here guys by heading to manage pages light boxes and we'll duplicate that light box we just created and rename it to say Spider-Man. And then we'll simply edit the Mediafire link. 
hit done. And one thing I wanna also mention guys is you can save this site at any time before you publish it. So I highly recommend you hitting that save button as much as you can. Say every time you finish a page or any time you make any kind of significant change to the page. And follow that up by duplicating that one and modifying that Mediafire link to our Thanos Reality Stone pack. We can then go back to the downloads page, click the link button on that image, and from the drop down menu, we can select each of the corresponding light boxes. Pretty easy, huh, gang? If we preview the site, we now have three images linked to three light boxes that all have different external download links embedded into them. Okay, last page, gang, the contact page. Now guys, there's two different ways to do this, so I'm gonna quickly mention both of them. The first method is to simply link the tab directly to an email link. To do that, we'll head to Manage Pages right here. We'll go ahead and hide the current contact page by doing this. From there, we'll head down and add a new link. Set this to Email right here. We'll then type our contact email and a completely serious subject line. Hit done, rename it to say contact us. And if we preview it and we hover over the contact tab right here, you can see down the bottom, the link is a mail to link and including that subject line. So that's one way. The other way is to simply enable that contact page and modify it to suit our needs. So let's do that quickly. Let's head back to the pages manager, hide that page link we just created unhide our previous contact page and let's get to work. Firstly, I'm gonna delete anything I don't need, which means these lines and text boxes right here. I'm then gonna grab everything by just clicking and dragging and just move it up. Next, we're gonna change the display to email here to our film learning one. There we go. And lastly, I wanna get rid of these social links here because our final step is to add a social bar to the header of our site. To add that social bar, let's head over to the add menu down to social and grab the social bar. We're then gonna drag it up and attach it to the header of our site. From there, let's click set social links. And I'll quickly delete Pinterest and Google Plus because well, I sure as hell don't use them. And then I'll add in all my links to the remaining ones, which is super easy. Once done, we'll close that and I might move the social bar over here. And then let's have a preview look at our finished site. As you can see, our social bar is working with all of our accounts. And if we do one last comparison, here is the small brand site we started with, all white and plain with just sort of text boxes. And here's the film learning site I just built right before your eyes in Wix with an interactive YouTube page, the social bar all set up, external links to our merch store and our download packs. And that my friends is our first web design tutorial done. So add up all those steps and you've got yourself a kick-ass website with Wix. Now guys, I am gonna mention that the example site we build is a free Wix website. If you wanna say connect a domain name, increase your web storage, you will have to sign up for a premium membership. Now there are several tiers to these premium memberships depending on what you want and they offer different things. And you'll find more information about that down below in the links. But guys, that is my time. If you did enjoy this episode, please smash that like button. I really do appreciate it. And hey, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell on so you don't miss a single film on an episode. I've got two other episodes right over here, and I think I've got another one right over here. My social media crap is above my head. Thank you to Wix, guys, and until I see you again, keep learning.